And that's evidence that, that apparently they intend to, uh, or say they intend to use. New evidence in the City Hall corruption trial. Why the mayor's lawyer says it's not a problem for her. Time is Get up. Away with Time is up. Speak. Time is up for the citizens of Maryland. The death penalty in Maryland. The three new reasons it will be harder to use capital punishment on convicted killers. Recession ripoffs. Why people who have lost their jobs need to watch out for scam artists. It's still just kind of unreal, you know. They've had hard times, but now they've hit the jackpot. The big thing this couple will do with their lottery winnings. Live in high definition from WBFF-TV in Baltimore. This is Fox 45 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Joy LaPolin for Jennifer Gilbert. And I'm Jeff Barn. Lawyers on both sides head to court today in the corruption case of Mayor Sheila Dixon. Defense attorneys wanted more specifics about the allegations and prosecutors delivered with, among other things, a revealing email. Keith Daniels is live at the Mitchell Courthouse in downtown with the story. Keith. Well, Joy and Jeff, st state prosecutors stepped up in court today with their first motions in the case against Mayor Dixon, but she was not distracted. She hosted a fundraiser this morning for her reelection campaign while the attorneys dealt with the legal troubles. At Mitchell Courthouse, prosecutors and defense attorneys for all defendants in the City Hall corruption case, including Mayor Sheila Dixon, met for the first time in open court. Arnold Guido, Dixon's attorney, called it a day to deal with technicalities before the trial. But new details... Well, the email is not necessarily a smoking gun. ...are revealed in the case. Prosecutors quoted from an email developer Ron Lipscomb sent to his colleagues bragging that he had the ability to get millions of dollars in tax breaks from city government officials. Stephen Allen, a case observer on if this could be useful evidence for prosecutors. But they're going to have to put a context to the email. They're going to have to be able to demonstrate that the email relates to specific events or specific conduct either by Mr. Lipscomb or a city official, presumably either uh, Councilwoman Holton or the mayor. Dixon's attorney with a quick response. That has absolutely nothing to do with uh, uh, Ms. Dixon. Uh, whatever that is, it's in uh, Mr. Lipscomb's uh, case. Lipscomb, a major city developer, and Councilwoman Helen Holton face bribery charges, among well, others, in this victory. case. Separately, Dixon is accused of stealing gift cards intended for needy families and lying about gifts she received from Lipscomb, her ex-boyfriend. That relationship, and now the email, points for prosecutors to suggest just how much influence Lipscomb may have had at City Hall or with the mayor. Whatever he was talking about, he was not talking about her. And that's evidence that, that apparently they intend to, uh, or say they intend to use in Mr. Uh, Lipscomb's case alone. Well, the mayor's trial is scheduled to begin September 8th. We're live at Mitchell Courthouse, Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News at 10. Thank you, Keith. Police investigated deadly shooting in Reservoir Hill. It happened just before 5 tonight in the 700 block of West North Avenue. Police say a young man was shot several times in the torso. He was rushed to shock trauma where he was pronounced dead. No word tonight on any suspects or a motive.